Hello, my name is Xiao Hui Zhou, a director of research and innovation at SwiftDream. I'm going to show you how to navigate the Advanced Controls Training course. First, you will see the home page or dashboard, which shows all the courses. Course 1.0 contains all the modules for energy managers. All other courses are modules for engineers and building operators. Module 1 are for fundamentals of controls. Module 2 courses are for advanced control topics. Module 3 teach high-level energy modeling and intelligent operations concepts. Module 4 contains several DoD ESTCP demonstration projects related to advanced building controls. And two Module 5 courses are overviews of retuning and continuous commissioning concepts and processes. You can sort these courses by course name, date completed, date started, progress, or recently viewed. Just click and select the option here. Let's start with course 1.0 for energy managers. Just click view course. Once you enter the course, you will first see the overview page. The green bars on the right indicate how far you have gone into any of these sections. Remember, in the course, we have 17 short sessions. Each session is between 10 to 20 minutes. Once you click the Review Course button, you will see a left sidebar that you can pick and choose any of the sessions and subsections. You can click on the course details and show the speakers for these 17 short sessions. If you click the speaker headshot, the page will display the speaker information. If you click one of the module names on the left, the sidebar will expand to show multiple sessions. With each session contains a video, slides for a presentation you can download, a simple quiz, and a quick survey. You can download the slide either before watching the video or after. The key part of the training is the pre-recorded video of the presentation. The video is embedded in the learning management system so you can play it directly by clicking the play button. By the way, the actual video sound is not recorded here, but you can download slides, take a short quiz, to reinforce the concept just learned. Since these are very short videos, there will be no exams or learning credits given. There's a short, simple survey the audience can fill out for us to collect general feedback for this session. Then can move on to the next short video. There are a total of 17 short videos in course 1.0 for energy managers. It's worth mentioning that in module four ESTCP projects, fact sheets for each of the ESTCP projects are available for download if you want to learn more about the project high-level summary and demonstration results. Now let's go back to the cover page and select one of the longer sessions targeting engineers and building operators. Let's select one of the sessions I have completed for this demonstration, 2.2, Introduction to HU Supply Air Temperature and Pressure Reset. This is one of the sessions in Module 2, Advanced Control Strategies. First, you will see the session overview page. On the right side, the green bars show how far I've gone through each step. If you click this icon, the sidebar will appear for easy navigation different parts of the course. Or you can click learning objectives, targeted audience for this session, agenda, and requirements to get the PDH. You can download the slides for the presentation, and you can watch the video by clicking the playing video button. After that, there's a short embedded feedback survey and 10 
technical question related to session content. If we finish answering all the questions and get eight out of the 10 right, the learning management system will automatically generate a professional development hour or PDH certificate. And you can view your grade anytime by clicking on View Grades button. Let's go back to the Learning Management System dashboard. All certificates you got from this course will be stored in a certificate library. You can download the PDF version of it anytime. The platform also tracks to-dos, how many sessions are in progress, and how many sessions are completed, etc. That's the end of this demonstration. Overall, it's a great resource for somebody who wants to learn about or improve their understanding of building controls and advanced control strategies and how to use the knowledge to save their building energy use and cost.